You gotta, you gotta ding you real quick. I, do, the, but I, I don't need to. Well, g- given that this this was the house that we were called about, we do have to I'm, identify I'm who we're talking to. Yeah. You know what I mean? My name is Eddie. Eddie. Yeah. Eddie what? Just Eddie. That's what I mean. I didn't do. I didn't do. Well, we have we have to attach who we spoke Eddie. to. I understand that. You can tell him you spoke to Eddie. Okay. Well, no, we have to attach who we're talking to. We we have to attach who we spoke to, sir. Eddie. Eddie what? Eddie. So Eddie. Don't give us your full name and date of birth. Come on, record this, sir. They they can record. That's fine. That's that's no, fine. But but we have to identify you. Okay. No no you you. Sir, you, sir, no. listen listen. Out. Either <laughs> either you identify yourself to us or we have to detain you and we have to figure out who you are. Okay. My name is Eddie. So we're about to do this. All right, sir. Go go ahead and put your hands. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sir. Can I sir, can I change my name? As this video progresses, it gets worse and worse. Record it! Bro, y'all Not doing too much. Put my shit back in my wallet. You ain't gonna hold me, I ain't running. That, oh, he's, yes. he's, he's at home. Yes. I'm at he's home, at home. And he's in front of his house. He 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 come he talk to this motherfucker. Yes. On, on my porch, Look, mind his own business. Look, so you, you telling me that you can legally arrest this man off of his porch on his property, when we get mind called, his own business, when we get because called, somebody, give a somebody called. Stay tuned, because really, you ain't seen nothing yet. Here's the deal. Here, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. So here's the deal. But here's the deal. Here's the deal. Well, here's the deal. But here's the deal. So here's the deal. And here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. Because here's the deal. Here's the deal. Either give me your ID or you go to jail. How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? How about that? How about that? Here's the deal. Welcome back to the Here's the Deal channel. There is a takeaway to this video and it's this. If you're gonna walk away with any idea about what this video is about, it's this. We got a call does not trump your constitutional rights. We have to identify you, does not strip you of your fourth and fifth amendment rights, specifically your right to not incriminate yourself. I don't care how believable it is. I don't care how authoritative the source is who comes at you saying, no, we got to identify you. If you don't identify yourself, I got to put you in these cuffs and I got to throw you in my cruiser and I got to fingerprint you and I got to put you into a cage. I'm going to play this, but I just want you to pay attention first off on how cool the cop is when he walks up to the homeowner. This homeowner's name is Eddie, but watch how quickly the cop escalates this situation when Eddie doesn't want to divulge his identity on his own property, having committed no crime. Hey, how's it going, man? Hey, we got a call by a discharge farm in the area. Um, they gave y'all's address here. I mean, they, they said someone had an AR star rifle and a pistol. We're, we're trying to figure out what's going on, is all. <laughs> we ain't got no yeah. ARs or no pistols out here. Right. So, yeah. y'all, have y'all heard any other gunshots shot. in the area? Did you, could you tell like, where it might have possibly came from? Wasn't really. Like off directional wise or anything? Uh, wasn't really paying attention because. It didn't come towards us, so. All right. Yeah, we're just trying to figure out. They said this whoever was shot up in the air. We're just trying to figure out because it's, it's legal in city limits, fire off a firearm, so. Okay. But uh, you got you got ID on you real quick. I do, that, but I, I don't need to. Well, g- given that this this was the house that we were called about, we do have to I'm identify sorry. who we're talking to. Yeah. So that's all he's got. He doesn't. There's no crime. There's no reasonable, articulable suspicion. There's no probable cause. There's nothing. All it, ha- all it is is we got a call. Now, because we got a call, we need to make you insecure in your person in violation. We need you to give up your Fourth Amendment right to be secure in your person. We need you to give up your Fifth Amendment right to not incriminate yourself by talking to the police. What you've got here is this is May 26, 2022, and officers with the Covington Police Department were called to investigate shots fired. That's fine. That's fine to investigate, but you can't deprive somebody of their rights 
in your investigation. And when somebody refuses to give their, up their rights, you can't use the threats and force and violence and coercion of the state to get what you want just because you want it. You know what I mean? My name is Eddie. Eddie? Yeah. Eddie what? Just Eddie. That's all. I mean, I didn't do, I didn't do. Well, nothing. we have, we have to attach who we that. spoke to. I understand that. You can tell him you spoke to Eddie. Okay. Well, no, we have to attach Grandma who we're talking recorded. to. We, we have to attach who we spoke to, sir. This is the voice of an order follower. We have to do this. This is policy. This is what we got to do. We got to put your name through our database because anytime we get a call, we need to make sure that you're insecure and you're personal. We just got to do it. This is the conformist order follower who's doing what he's told regardless of what is right and regardless of whose rights he has to trample. Eddie what? Eddie. Sir, Eddie. Don't give us your full name and date of birth. Come on, record this. Sir. They they can record. That's fine. That's that's fine. But but we have to identify you. Okay. No no you you. Sir, sir, no. listen listen. Either either you identify yourself to us, or we have to detain you, and we have to figure out who you are. Okay. My name is Eddie. Eddie. That would be a violation of their. We have to do it. No, you don't have to do it. You want to do it. And getting ID is like getting ID for a cop is like crack to a drug addict. I got to have it. We got to have it. No, we got to put it in the database. You don't want your name in a police database, even if it looks like it's benign. Eddie what? Did you speak to the other officer? I mean, the other people? Did you get Eddie what? Come Not on, yet. This is the first one. Man, y'all know how this works. Sir. We're not about to do that. All right, yeah, sir. Go, go ahead and put your hands Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sir. This is all in front of this guy's kids. Look. Can I? Sir. There's a kid right here in the background. There's going to be a couple other kids that come out. These cops don't care. They have no moral compass. Can I? Okay. Okay. This is in America, guys. Not North Korea. Not communist China. This is America. Hold still. Not that serious. I'm not even. I don't have. Look. Look at me. I don't have nothing. Run this real quick. I don't have nothing. Just run his ID. Bro, y'all don't have to grab I'm on me like that. Record it! Right. They can record it. They can record it. I ain't did nothing. You don't have to hold me, man. Zero five eight zero seven zero six eight six. Fuck out of here, y'all. That's stupid. Bro, y'all doing too much. Put my shit back in my wallet. When it comes back, we will. Yeah. Once we will, we'll. Charlie What? I don't give a fuck. I Look, can we talk now? Bro, okay, did y'all talk to the other people? Did y'all get their identity? Okay, okay. So, so why would y'all talk to the person who called first? Because get this. Get the fuck out of here, man. Get the fuck out of here. I don't need to. The fuck? No, the fuck I don't. Are y'all fucking retarded? Ma'am, ma'am, when y'all hold on, I'll, I'll talk. I'll come you ain't gonna hold so me. I ain't running. That, that way, the there's no discussion. You, she can come over here and record. That's fine. Exactly Look, so the call, the call we got. I, I, I told her she can come over here and record. She can record. Okay. So, now some people might just sit there and go, "What's the big deal? Just give them your ID. They're there to help. They're from the government. And they're there to help. Nothing, can, nothing good." can come of you giving away your right to identify when you have committed no crime. What good are rights if you have to give them up? If there's, you know, and it's not even so bad that we have these tyrannical law enforcers out here who want to execute and initiate tyranny on the rest of us. You have a whole bunch of bootlickers out there who are going, why don't you just give away your ind ind individual rights? What's the big deal? Oh yeah, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal that millions thought they fought, bled, and died for these freedoms that you want us to relinquish so easily. Uh, the call we got was that there was a firearm discharge. They gave the description and location of this house. And I explained to him, we just have to identify who we talked to so it shows a record that we stopped and spoke to him. And then that's when he was going to identify I'm listening to the guy in the background. He is absolutely right. Who do you think you are? I'm an innocent man standing on my own property. I don't have to. I don't. There's no obligation for me to identify myself to you for any reason unless I've committed a crime. 
to show his ID. That's when, 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 Going on. We have to identify who we're speaking to. And, 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 and if I call the police of whoever I want, if they okay, that's bullshit. choose not to I, I, show their ID, they would say the exact thing. They, they get arrested. Yeah. But that's that's why it's not necessarily that's as long as everything comes out good. It's just an entertainment. As long as everything goes good, listen, listen to me, listen to me. He's at home. He's, yes. He's, he's at home. I'm at he's home. At home. I don't need time. He's in front of his to He's at home. He's on, on, on my look, porch, look, minding his own business. Look, yep. All he had to do was identify himself. All, the, I don't have to. ID All he had to do was give up his individual rights. All he had to do was give up that fundamental building block that makes America what it is and keeps tyrants for do, from doing what they're trying to do right here. That's all he's got to do. If he didn't, if, it'll go easy for you if you give up your rights. He did not do anything wrong. Okay, look, I'm just, just going to give you an example. I'm going to give you an example. Because if you pull okay? up on me, look, I don't have to look, show my I'm ID just, if listen, I didn't do anything. Listen, I'm going to explain to you, man. If you were to call that house right there, mm -hmm. I don't say anybody home right now, but say you were to call there, mm -hmm. if they didn't refuse to identify themselves, if that's the house we got called about, the exact same thing would happen. Oh, then you you would be wrong then too. If they refuse to identify themselves and you have no reasonable articulable suspicion, no probable cause, you have got nothing on the person that he's committed a crime or had committed a crime, then you can go kick rocks. He does not have to identify and self-incriminate. As a matter of fact, when they read your, your Miranda rights, what's the first thing that they say? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you in a court of law. Does he not have the right to remain silent? at any time, for any reason, on his own property, in America? Uh, I'm at home. I, I, I don't that believe that. Because, okay. because he's at home. So you're telling me that you can legally arrest this man? And, and, and being at home and on your own property is somewhat irrelevant. Yeah, it makes it more stark. It makes it more obvious. It's like, dude, you're on his property. Get off his property. But even if you're out in public, if you haven't committed a crime, you do not have to divulge who you are. You do not have to relinquish anonymity. Off of his porch. On his property, when we get minding called, his own business, when we get because called, somebody, give a description. somebody called. That's like somebody calling CPS on me, talking about I abuse my kids. So you looking at my kids, and my kids is just fine. The voice of reason. You gonna take my kids because somebody called? No. An investigation. No, no, no. You're not gonna just take my kids because somebody called. Right, I'm gonna go talk. I'm gonna go talk. And this falls under innocent until proven guilty. They're treating him as though he's guilty before he proves himself innocent. As long as everything's good, that's what I'm trying to explain to him. As long as everything's good. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I understand. Yeah, I mean, he ain't got nothing to hide. His his license is good. He ain't got no yeah, warrants, yeah, nothing like that. Everything, so everything, if he would have just said, if he said Edward Bernard, did look, he says he's got he, nothing's wrong. He doesn't have any warrants or anything, and yet the guy is still standing in his yard in cuffs while they know, and he's admitting that he knows that this guy didn't do any wrong. There's no warrants, and yet he's still in the torture cuffs. For this, this would have never happened at all. Yeah, you know I, what I mean. Yeah. I but the original call that we if he just complied with the authority if he just gave up his rights none of this would have ever happened that's how you lose your rights we got was that someone claimed that they saw someone at this house with an ar star rifle and a pistol and that a firearm was discharged he said he heard the firearm but it wasn't here yeah it wasn't here. and we don't have reason necessarily to believe that it was here but because this was the house with the description all that yeah, we were yeah, given I, they even said on melody court that's why we had reason to get out here you know what I mean? Keep talking, cop. Keep talking. 
I just wanted to, I just, I just tried to get, try to get some understanding yeah. to make it make sense, that's all. So, he good, he could get the cuss off of him now, though. You good with that? As as he he ain't gonna, he gonna want me to do it because I was gonna put the cuffs on the front seat. He wanna do it or something. I'll, I'll take him off if he's cool with it. Yeah, I'll, t I mean, I'll take him off if, if he's cool with it. I don't appreciate tyranny. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't, I don't have to. Your turn, sir. I'm on. I don't fucking have to. Sir. Oh, no, this, this, this is my sergeant. You can stop talking. No, I'm saying this is my sergeant. Okay, I'll talk to your sergeant, but you can stop talking to me. I love this guy's attitude. Okay, so, so I'm trying to get off a turn away. Sir, you got a call about this address. I hear it. So therefore, my officers have a legal reason to be here. They can ask who you are to identify you. They, they and can then, ask. And, 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 I can and refuse. Well, well, when you refuse, sir, when they have a legal reason to be at this address, that is called obstruction. That is not true. Obstruction is a physical act. You cannot turn standing for your individual rights, standing for constitutional rights into a crime, the crime of obstruction. You can't do it. You can't legitimately do it. You can't legally do it. They just admitted this guy hadn't committed a crime. This guy doesn't have any warrants. He's clean. Everything's good. The only thing he didn't do was relinquish his identity. That's a brave man right there. He is not letting go of his rights. It gets worse because Eddie goes to the Covington Police Department to file a complaint. This was on the 26th. On the 27th, he went to file the complaint. And then a couple days later, on the 30th, what happens is it looks like the Covington cops got a warrant in retaliation for Eddie complaining against them so that they could slap him with an obstruction charge. This comes to us from the civil rights lawyer. This is the body cam footage of that incident. This is pitiful, America, this is America. These are oath breakers. They swore to protect and defend Eddie and Candace's rights. Where's Couch at? Here they are taking away their freedoms, attempting to take away their freedoms in their own home. Watch how ridiculous this gets. Infuriating. Hey, coming in, please. Yes, ma'am, can you just open the door for me real quick, please? Hey, man, I'm Officer Barrett coming, please. Is Edward Ballard here right now? No. He's not here right now? Okay, just wait one second for me, okay? Hold on, man. Hold on. Hey! Radio, she just shut the door on me. Open the door! By the way, I wasn't clear about who this is. This is Officer Joseph Barrett. This is the same guy who arrested Eddie on the 26th, and he works for the Covington Police Department. Open the door! Yes, I do! Can shut the door on you? Temple. That any judge would sign this warrant. Ma'am, open the door. You said what? Open the door. Pisses me off, man. You can hold the dog. I got more than one dog. <laughs> yeah, try holding a dog uh, against a Frady cat police officer. And we know how Frady they were. Two weeks ago, I did a video where a cop pulled a gun on and shot at a Pomeranian. What do those things get up to? Maximum eight pounds? I was afraid for my life. The bullet ricocheted and hit the homeowner. Yeah, yeah. Put your dog. If you care about your dogs, don't let them anywhere near a cop. 42, watch the back. She's not opening the door. I advise her that I do have a warrant. Got a warrant. Ma'am, just open up the door, please. First of all, that's not how you talk to nobody. Good for her. Yes, ma'am. I have a warrant for Edward Ballard. I need you to open the door, please. Do you have a warrant to come into my house? Or do you have a warrant for you to open Edward Ballard? Because he's not here. Good question. 
with the with the name of Edward Ballard at 9175 Melody Court. We do by law have we do have the availability where we can check the residence for Edward Ballard on location. Okay, that's in my door. Yes, ma'am, because you're trying to shut the door in my face. Don't yell at me. I'm not the one. Don't yell at me. I'm not trying to yell. I'm just trying to make sure you can hear me, ma'am. Okay. I, I promise I'm not trying to yell at you or nothing like that. Well, like I said, ma'am, I do have a warrant for Edward Ballard at 9175 Melody Court. Okay, and I stand in here. She slammed it before I could get my foot in the door to stop it. Good. And she's saying I can't check the house for him. Okay. Hey, LT. You want to stay with him? I'm going to go back. She's, she slammed the door before I could get my foot in there to stop from slamming it on me. She's not. She said I can't come in there to search for him. I tried to show her the warrant, but she won't Is actually she look. She oh, yeah. was. She was. I'm not sure where she went now. Couch said he does see someone peeking through the blinds in the carport. Ma'am, this is Lieutenant. Can you come to the door? At the at the least, every one of these cops should be fired mm -hmm. at a minimum. Stay tuned. It gets worse. It gets worse. Because with this warrant, we can't check the house, correct? With this warrant, with this address, we can't check the house, correct? He doesn't even know. Depends on how that slides. Did you even read the warrant? So what was wait right here, LT? One detained. That's Candace. Right. So now they're gonna they're gonna arrest innocent Candace Ballard. They're not there for Candace. The warrant is not for Candace. It's for Eddie. But what are they gonna do? Watch. Yeah. Just could be, uh, watch the front. Yeah, go to the front. Uh, so they arrest Candace Ballard. And they put her in a cop car and they take her to the police station and they hold her hostage. What's it called when you're being held against your will and you're not free to go? What's that called? You know, in other areas when the government's not doing, they typically call that kidnapping. They, ki they typically call that holding a hostage. So they hold innocent Candace Ballard hostage to tell her to call Eddie so that he can come down and they can trade Candace for Eddie. She, she's literally being held against her will at the police station, having committed no crime. Officer Barrett was- And listen to this frickin' psychological operations they're trying to lay on her. Giving him the benefit of the doubt, <laughs> even though everybody's F-bombing us, screw us, F us, mother F us, everything else. He was giving him the benefit of the doubt and released him to go and pull video cameras, talk to the three witnesses, and everything else before he took him to jail. And he didn't have to. When he came down, I didn't know anything about any of this. When he came down and wanted to make a complaint, then I started looking into it. After See, that's what their butt hurt about. That's what their egos are bruised about. Eddie went to the police station to lodge a legitimate complaint against tyrannical overlords that came to his house, stepped foot on his property and tried to make him insecure in his person in violation of his Fourth Amendment rights and tried to make him divulge information against his Fifth Amendment rights. And that's by a bunch of cops who swore to protect and defend the rights that they're trying to tear down. And now he's got a problem with it because Eddie complained that they did something that they swore not to do. After he left, I asked him, I said, hey, what's going on with this? He told me exactly what I just told you. And if y'all were paying attention, I don't know, because I don't stare at my windows either. Y'all would have seen him back in the neighborhood talking to neighbors mm -hmm. after all of that. Okay? So, I and Officer Barrett both spoke with the neighbors, and this is the agreement that they wanted. They don't want to press charges for the reckless conduct, for the shooting the gun, they want to forgo that. So now he's pitting their neighbors against them. He's stepping into the fray that he shouldn't be stepping into. He's trying to become an arbiter and a, and a peacekeeper as he's trying to manipulate the mind of Candace to get her to call his husband to, uh, to do a trade for trade. It's pitiful and it's disgusting. And he witnessed every bit of this, okay? <laughs> But we got the warrant for the original obstruction 
because of what he did to Officer Barry and refused it everything else. Those other two or three... What he did to Officer Barrett, it's it's Barrett who is initiating unjust force and violence on Eddie, not the other way around. These The minds of these power-tripping law enforcers is so convoluted. Three more charges were coming until we talked to the neighbors again, and they said, hey, we got to live here. Same as them. We don't want to be at war with them. But yes, he's crossed the line. With him effing us, I know you called the police, I'm going to slap shit of you, I'll whoop your... All this other stuff that he said, if we can work this out. <laughs> so, can we do that? Do y'all want to be those good neighbors or no? That's what I was down there to get him, arrest him, bring him right where you're sitting and explain every bit of this to him. Just if like there was an obstruction charge on Eddie, when they went up to the house on May 26, they would have executed that obstruction charge. There was, you can't be charged for obstruction when you're standing for your rights, especially rights that the cops who were taking away the rights swore to protect and defend and uphold. If you call Edward up right now to him to drive him, you know what, up here, <laughs> you can get in his car and go home and he'll go with us to the jail on that one charge. If we'll let you go if you call Eddie and have him come up here. Then we'll take him and release you. But if you don't call Eddie, we're going to keep you. This is at this point, if you were going to talk to the cops and what crime are you holding me for? What crime do you suspect me of committing? Whose name was on the warrant? Was it Eddie or was it Candace? Which one is it? And if it was Eddie and not Candace, why am I sitting at this table? Give me a lawyer. Man, you have got an ironclad open and shut case. If he agrees with you to let's bury this thing with the neighbors, let's be good neighbors, look out for each other, protect each other, and I think it's going to be a great start or something. If not, and, and I will talk to the DA's office with you for your charge also and say, hey, she's cooperated, cooperated fully. She's even got her husband down here so we can put him in here. I, will, uh, I don't want to charge her because all this is getting written up. So do you want to do that? <laughs> don't cuss us then. How about that? Because I haven't cussed you, have I? Have I called you any names? I doing? wouldn't be upset with you if you did. It's like, I haven't called you any names, have I? Uh, no, but you kidnapped me. Isn't that kind of worse? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I don't do that. That's if you got right. a potty mouth, you got a potty no, mouth. I mean, that's not right. That's not right. But, but taking somebody who's innocent against their will and without their consent is right. <laughs> and holding them hostage until the other fictitious guilty party gets there so we can nab him. <laughs> God. If he'll do that, that's the way we'll do it. If not, I mean, I'd like to see it work out with y'all as neighbors and be done with it. Shut yeah. up. I just want to see you guys be good neighbors. That's all I want to see. So from the police station, Mrs. Ballard was held at the station until her husband arrived to turn himself in on the obstruction charge. Edward Ballard would spend a night in jail on the charge, a bogus trumped up charge because they got their feelings hurt and this was a retaliation stop. And this has been going on for more than 15 months after the arrest. The case isn't closed yet. So what you have is you have an American on American soil, minding his own business, being approached by people who are supposed to be upholding the freedoms of Americans, violating the freedoms of Americans and getting their feelings hurt because a guy won't give them their name. And then when the guy complains about being manhandled and arrested and being the object of tyrannical expression from the Covington police department, they retaliate a couple days later, go to their door with a warrant. And this thing happens. Leave your thoughts about this for the world and the global thought police in the comment section below. If I have not covered something or you disagree with anything that I said, leave your comments in the comment section below. The best way you can help this channel grow and get this information out is to like this video, to share this video, to subscribe to this channel. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to my private email list through my website, highimpactflix.com. If you want to support the channel further, grab a hard-hitting conversation starting design like this one right here. This is sheep volution because we're in a full-blown, not revolution, but a sheep volution. The only thing, the only reason this can happen right here is because we got a bunch of boot licking sheep supporting the thin blue line of tyranny. 
And that's got to stop. And unless it does, we don't have freedoms on American soil like we think we do. This might as well be North Korea. Freedom is dangerous. The only thing more dangerous is not having it. The only thing you should be found guilty of is being excellent. I will see you in the next video.